he committed and anointed these people into an apostolic ministry. He had to train them for three years, Uguti, in Faga, into the kingdom of a disciplined. It's fine. Amen. But umuntu. Reload before the throne of God. We're going to see the goodness, the perfection, when a man has been now, has reached his perfect, you know, like condition in Pilwiniake. Upelele manje, kusingas usa shoti luto, usa tropiki luto, usa ingwai. I don't know, me, you can know ingwai, how rata. But how nan tre hulu manko luhudu. You will have arrived to the area, to the position, to the situation, a day before, yeah, yeah. When God, a creator mode, he was in a very good mood. Amen. Anahana, I'm going to reproduce myself. So, we have a man of God here. His desire, I traveled with him. Actually, he's the man who taught me how to travel overseas. Being asked me, and I can let Tom come to town. I'm full this. Today, I can travel anywhere, and I've been almost everywhere. Some of the overseas trips I do. Leah I can begin and to delay how to travel overseas. He's a disciplined man. His desire is to see the church prospering. Let us all the time. Let us teach our people to be disciplined, to be able to can take care of their finances. Gamona, his heartbeat is for a man. Askal Adula Atropehile Molofase. That's the man who's going to minister. I'm not giving him, you know, the sermon to preach here. He's going to say some other things which the Lord has laid upon his life. But Nagibua, my testimony is my experience of the life I lived with him. I know him for decades. What is the last thing I wanted to say about him without wasting yeah, the last thing, Uma Uzelana Usindwa. We ask you, Asindwa, Olele, O Petregidi Peine, you don't know how to get rid of them. When we, had, we were in a conference in Botswana, that's when Nagabunai found out who he's got a gift of healing. Leave it here. Amen, Bazalwana. If you sin, if you can't shake it off, because these things are, you know, when I was in the world, when I was in the world, that's why the Bible says pray for the gift of discerning of spirits. You are a Christian. No more Satan is trying planning things because his, his problem, his worry is to get you to, you know, to be removed from God because he knows how you're going. I told you on Saturday, Satan knows about it. When you occupy that position in our on Good Friday, Amen, Jack. We are yes. So his desire, if he can deceive you not to get there, he will have accomplished his mission. Murena mudimu alisholo fate. So ke muno ke mutsibang ke musebizi wahai o visitu nke mudimu. And today we are blessed. Even no man has for two ten minutes, it's fine. But what is going to say to you? I know it will be a wait for you from your Father, which is in heaven. Shall the church stand? We put our hands together.
thanking Jesus Christ for his anointed as he climbs the stairs to come and preach. I don't know what Jesus said to him, but you will hear what I put well alone. But the more I refer to the more you are to see some recite the tutor who discipline a mapilorna or Jesus Christ. I, you know, I target a mapilor arunaria. My job at Calvary has done it. Here they are. I do my little satanari over test and you are not going to win any of them. Father God, we thank you. Let's put our hands together for Reverend Moses Mabunda. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Uh, we can take our seat. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my Redeemer. Uh, God bless you. Now, uh, I'm so grateful to see all my brothers and sisters in the Lord that are still clinging to the uh, gospel that you received some years ago. Uh, we give God glory uh, for your perseverance uh, in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to see young people uh, who are part of the church of God and I believe that the Lord is going to bless you young people Sunday school and even the young people who are here may the Lord bless you all oh, bless abundantly bless you and to those who are of my age uh, I believe you are standing firm on the gospel of Jesus Christ. I believe the Lord has blessed you. I believe you have seen his power. I believe your faith is going, is growing on a daily basis. You are moving from faith to faith in the name of Jesus. This is the one that I'm worshiping, the one that I'm serving. And I have seen him in many ways in my life. I've seen him doing wonders in my life. I've seen him doing wonders in the ministry that I am today. Because uh, uh, we are not here because we we know or we belong to the certain family but i believe he has called me he has called you to be his servant and may god bless you <clears throat> i believe that today uh, it's my first outing since last year uh, you are blessed uh, to have this uh,
Thank you. God bless you, my brother. Uh, it's the first time I, 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 you know, I've been invited to come and give a sermon in the church. And the, um, I believe there is a purpose in that. And uh, in the book of, uh, the, I think, Proverbs, it says, how can you understand the Lord's doing? Because the steps of the righteous man are led and directed by God himself. And I've seen on many occasions that God is working. It is just people are uh, dumb cop, you know, they stick stiff necked but the Lord leads he's alive and he is still there he still heals he still blesses and he still gives life because he is alive again it amen yes I I come from Pretoria I think you know I'm staying in Pretoria and our church has been uh, on lockdown since last year, March. We have been using the Zoom all the time. And uh, we've been looking to buy a place around Pretoria, of which we're still looking. And I believe in the right time, God will give us the the church to buy or place to buy and currently we are having a place that we are working on that we are going to move in uh, possibly the beginning of may uh, we still need some some fixing that is a place that we will own it and not share not share it with other people uh, because where we were, I think you know the place, the place is being shared by many people, and we were supposed to sanitize you know, ourselves, of which the place is not ours. So we opted to move out, and, and looking unto Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, to give us the place where we can worship him. And I believe we will move to a place where the Lord is going to be uh, our Lord and where we're going to praise him and glorify him and give him the glory and see him working in our lives on a daily basis because our God is not sleeping, our God is working. As I'm talking now here, God is working in our lives. Now, uh, Pastor Mlegwa mentioned something that the... Uh, now, now, let me speak as a man of God. Uh, you'll forgive me if maybe this is a tradition that is happening here. Uh, I think I need to put what God has put in my heart. That everyone who is sitting here, if you are seeking, if you need deliverance, if you need healing, this is a place where you will be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, if you need blessings, listen carefully. If you need blessings, the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things shall follow you blessings are not given here in the church you can be blessed in your house can we say amen, amen. God works in your mokuku God can still bless you in your little room God can still bless you may God bless you if you want blessings, if you want the blessings, the blessings of God, 
Remember what he says to, to Aaron. He says, uh, uh, say these words to the children of Israel. I, God myself, I will come down and bless them. Now, the church is being held by these fake pastors who think they possess power to bless people. My blessings come from Jesus Christ, not from the man. Jesus Christ is a blesser. Not the blesser that you know, but Jesus Christ is a blesser. That is why you don't have decent blessings. You depend on men of God. That's why you don't have full blessings. Because you depend on Mabunda. He's going to bless me. I am a vessel to bring this good news unto you. And him alone will bless you. Uman vuma bazala nitine amen. Unkulungulu anbusisa amen. Hallelujah. I have my blessings, I know. Even if I don't receive the blessings, I know that they are there. And some who comes behind me, they will receive the blessings. The blessings of God are yes and amen. And we all believe that through Jesus Christ, we have the blessings of Jesus Christ. Everyone here, the blessings of God are yours. And they are yes and amen. Understand this, that the Jesus Christ we worship, he is risen today. He is alive. Jesus Christ is risen and he is alive. Can we give God a glory? Can we say amen? Amen. Amen. Those who want blessings, go. Those who want work, employment, the Bible says knock. The door shall be knocked, shall be opened unto you. You have been set free. You have been liberated. If there is anyone who cursed you and said you shall never make it in your life through Jesus Christ, I say your curse was broken. You have, you have it with you. Don't look at yourself. Greater is he who is in you than the one who is in the world. I walk victorious, even if there are challenges. Challenges must be there. You'll never be strong if you don't go through these things. You'll never know the power of God if you are not getting tempted, if you are not meeting these challenges, you will be a baby. You will be still a child. Maybe there are those who are here. They have been in the church for many, many years. But they are still like babies. They live on milk. If you give them real meat, you choke them. We need to come to the understanding that Jesus Christ has set us free. Jesus Christ has liberated us. He says in his word, he guarantees, God guarantees his word. He says, if my word that comes out from my mouth shall not return unto me void, it shall accomplish what I send it to do in my life, in your life, in your family, in your husband, in your father, in your children. Because God guarantees his way in the name of Jesus Christ. This is what we believe. That the word of God will make us what God wants us to be. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Young people, God bless you. And even all my pastor here, 
Uh, God bless you. You're a blessing, uh, my pastor here. God bless you. And everyone who's here, take your step today. You've been set free. You are saved. Don't be like the world. Okay? Do not be like the world. Be like the child of God. And God will bless you. Amen. Continue in the church. Bless the Lord. Pay your tithe. Pay your offering. Take care of your maruti. Eh? Hey, even if it's God, he's giving to the pastor indirectly. Uh, it's, it's, it's part of the blessings. Don't wait when he's old and say, I did this. Do it now, even if he's God. Bless him. Because the Bible in Acts 20, 35 says, Blessed is the hand that giveth than the one that receiveth. If you want blessing, give to your pastor. Take care of your pastor. And God will bless you. Yes, God, will, God has put him here for a certain reason. And if you take care of him, even young ones, young ones, uh, take care of your pastor. If you want to be blessed, those are the blessings. Uh, myself, I did that to my pastor. I don't have any uh, I did that. I blessed him, man. And some were saying, you know, he's pine. And I was doing that for, for, for the kingdom of God. And then God will bless you. Amen. Keep going. Keep worshiping. Families, keep praying together. And keep, you know, your children, teach them the word of God. Don't just come to church every Sunday. Teach them the word of God. Let them grow into the, 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 the family that, that is well oiled with the word of God. Some of them may move away from the gospel. It's not your fault. The devil is working, but give them the word of God. And when they hit problems later, they shall come back. But teach them. Don't have service only here in the church. Have your services at home. Before you go to, to sleep, pray with them. Before you eat, pray. Now, this is to, this one I'm giving to the parents. Pray for your children. Fast for them. Fast for your children. You can take a week fasting for your children. You can take a month fasting for your children. Fast for your children. It is very crucial that you pray for your children. Don't bring Gotum Fundizabatanazel. You have to pray for them. They are your children. Take care of them. Fast for them. I don't know if Gezogal. Don't bring them here. You have a responsibility as a parent to teach them the word, pray for them, fast for them if possible. Not if possible. You have to. Fast for your children. And God will bless you. Amen. Can we say amen? Hallelujah. Nani Bacha, eh, young people, eh, respect your parents. Pray for them too. Pray for your parents too. Not too lengthy. Pray for your parents too. And God will bless you. Sunday school, I know you pray, you're praying for us. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Now, uh, I have a f scripture here that I just want to share with you. Then from there, I believe the Lord is going to bless you immensely. Those who, who were searching for the answers, I believe that God will answer you or give you an answer. And remember, some of the things that I'll be quoting here, they are spiritually descend. They are spiritually descend. Some of the 
ways that I'll be quoting here, they are spiritually descent. In other words, Zipefu Mulelwe, Zipefu Mulelwe, I think Amen. Some of the things are spiritual descent, and I believe that the Lord is going to bless you. I will not waste time. I was just encouraging you that we have a better position and a better life. We, the children of God, and we are, we are uh, uh, here, or I'm here today. I left my family. They are having the service there through the Zoom. I think you know I am, you know my children, and you, I now have two granddaughters, of which I thank God for His grace. And I, I depend entirely upon Him. You know, things are coming and things are going, but I cling unto Jesus Christ. And I was a young person too, like you. And I saw from far away the plan that God has got for me. And I was a Sunday school teacher. I taught the Sunday school and God molded me until he gave me something that he'll be glorified. Uh, let me put this way clear. The Bible says, if you are not faithful with little things, you shall never be faithful with great things. You can, you can jump, and who can entrust in your hands real riches if you are not faithful? If you are faithful with little things, God will entrust true riches to you. Small little things, you, might be, you must be faithful in there so that God can bless you. Now, let me go deeper into that. If you listen more, if you listen more according to the word of God, God will give you more to listen. If you don't listen, you'll never get anything. But if you listen more, and God will give you more spiritual things to listen to. May God bless you. Amen. Now, uh, in the, I think I, I listened to the service last night, but I couldn't finish of Gauteng District. Uh, the preacher, uh, I think, is Pastor Sibanda, Bito Sibanda, uh, where he was sharing where the Easter, or not the Easter, where the, the Passover started. Thank you very much. And he mentioned it very well that from the from the Old Testament where it started and then uh, continuing until where we where Jesus Christ was born now he even mentioned uh, in the in the uh, tabernacle that who was ministering there and he mentioned all those things I listened all those things and then now, the real tabernacle uh, uh, was, was in heaven when God said to Moses, you built this according to the measurement that I give you because it is a shadow of good things to come. God was speaking to Moses, uh, mentioning or telling him that there is a real tabernacle in heaven. But now, God was pointing forward where... Uh, uh, his plans will be revealed uh, 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 among people so that we may understand how God is working. And then Jesus Christ was born and Jesus Christ lived for a certain number of years until his ministry was fulfilled and then he was crucified 
I think we know the story that Jesus Christ was crucified uh, on Friday, uh, I think, yes, in the morning, and then he died in the late afternoon. And then uh, uh, he was buried uh, the very same day because they didn't want to go to the Passover uh, while he, he was not buried. They hastened to bury him. And then after burying him, uh, then I think you know, uh, on, 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 on Sunday, uh, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother, the mother of James and Salome, they went to the sepulchre. They had some spices uh, to use, you know, to anoint uh, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, early in the morning, that was on the third day, on Sunday morning. Yes, early in the morning, they went to the sepulchre, having uh, the, the, the spices to anoint Jesus Christ. And when they arrived at the tomb, and they were talking among themselves, I'm talking about women now, you know? talking, they were talking among themselves, who is going to roll the stone for us? Because the stone is very huge. As they were coming there, and then the Bible says, they did not know that the stone was rolled already. But when they get there, they found there, is, there was a young man who was wearing white cloth, you know, and then as they saw him, they were afraid. And then uh, the young man said to him, he's an angel, said, who are you looking for? Are you looking for Jesus Christ of Nazareth? He is risen. And then he said to them, come and have a look uh, where he was laid. And as they approach, Remember the sepulchre, you go down and they put the hue, you know, in this way. So now, when they came in that sepulchre, uh, when they look, Jesus Christ wasn't there. And the Bible says there was an angel on the right hand side where he was laid. The angel was standing there where Jesus Christ was laid on the Bambani on the right hand side. And then the angel said to them, go and tell his disciples that he is risen. Go, you'll meet him. Uh, tell the disciples that they will meet him, that he is risen. He is no longer here. Now the Bible says, uh, as they were walking, they were afraid, you know, they were afraid. They didn't know what to do. They were trembling. And the Bible says, they came to some of them. They said, Jesus Christ is risen. And they did not believe the, the, the report from the women. And then uh, Jesus Christ, in the meantime, now before that, let me, let me go backwards. While the Jesus Christ was in the tomb and the devil was happy they put that stone so that the disciples must not come at night and steal him they were afraid that the disciples might come back and steal him but after Jesus Christ descended uh, into the deep of the earth in the deepest place uh, where he went and, 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 and liberated all the Christians that were held captive by Satan. And Jesus Christ went to the deepest place. And when he was there, he was preaching to the devil and telling the devil, I am now the Son of God. I am now giving them the freedom. I have come to set them free. I am preaching, I am the Son of God. 
Now people were fearing, but Jesus Christ was preaching, and he said to the devil, Bring me the keys of death. And the Bible says he took the keys from Satan, and then by that keys, man, you like you and myself were liberated. All those that were held in captives by the devil were set free because of Jesus Christ. Can we say amen? God bless you. We're talking about something special, something extraordinarily. And then after the woman left, and then Jesus Christ appeared to Mary Magdalene, whom he took out seven spirits out of him. Jesus Christ, he went to Mary Magdalene, whom he delivered seven spirits out of her and then she told her that i am jesus christ i'm still talking about women now in the ministry jesus christ revealed himself after his resurrection to the women and may god bless you stand up and receive what god has started in a book of philippians chapter one says uh, he who has started a good work shall continue until jesus christ comes can we say amen god has started a good work in your life and he shall continue to do that not the pastor not your mother not your bishop but jesus god will continue until jesus christ comes now the bible says as they were moving forward and then jesus christ appeared in another form to another man he changed he appeared in another form and then and then the and then after speaking to him and then he was scared as well and then he went to the disciples uh, after the mary magdalene and salome salome and mary the mother of jesus have conveyed the message to the disciples they did not believe that person is dead they forgot that he told them that on a third day i will rise from the dead they forgot the bible says uh, he uh, while they were inside they were now they were eating and Jesus Christ appeared among them. Now by then there were 11 because Thomas wasn't there. And then he told them because you don't believe. Why, why can't you believe? I told you these things. That I will be crucified but I will rise on a third day. Why don't you believe? Why don't you believe? Let me go back to Thomas. Thomas wasn't there when they told him that Jesus, we have seen our Lord. He said, next. No, I will never believe until I see where they pierce him. Eh? Until I see the hands where he was nailed and the, on the side, the way they pierced him. I will never believe. They are those who are in the church as well. So I will never believe what the Bible is saying. But the Bible says, Jesus Christ appeared to Thomas and said, uh, while they were in the room, they were, com they were all there, they were eating in the evening, and Jesus Christ, they saw him in the midst of them. He said, peace unto you. The doors were closed. The doors were shut, but Jesus Christ could could just be in the middle of them and said peace be unto you and then said thomas you don't believe come and touch my hands come and see here is my well, here is my wound and then thomas said you are a master you are a son of the living god and then jesus said blessed are those who believe yet they have not seen you are blessed you have not seen amen and then Thomas was restored into his ministry because Jesus Christ told him that Thomas believe in me. Now after that, 
Jesus Christ is when we now we are going to read the scriptures so that you can understand Mark chapter 16 we shall read from verse uh, verse 15 and I think this will be my my closing uh, scriptures I think I've narrated uh, all the all the points leading to this scripture so that you can understand and then Mark chapter 16 we will start from verse 15 and then I will uh, keep going, just elaborating on some of the matters there. Mark 16, verse 15. Why is it you go? Hambani, nie as when you long, Nishumayele Evangeli, Gukogonke, or good daddy way. Okolwayo. Okolwayo apapatizwe, uyagu sindiswa, gepa onga kolwayo, uyagu lashwa. Lezi zibonagaliso, ziyagu balandela abakolwayo, ngeka malami, bayagu kipa amatimoni, bashumayele ngezi limi ezi incha. Bapate izi nyoga, umabepuza ogubulalayo, agusoze guaba nangozi. Baya gubega izanda pezu guaba kulayo basinde. Njalo ge inkosi ujesu isi kulumile gubo. Ya kushulelwa ezulwini. Ya sala nga wesogu nene sigangulungulu. Gepa bona bepuma bashumayela ezinda weni zonke. Inkosi isebenza nabo ikinisa izwi ngezibonagaliso ezilandelayo. Amen. So let's dwell on that. Uh, Father, bless this word in the name of Jesus. I pray that all those who listen, that Father, this word will penetrate unto even their marrows and their thoughts so that they may understand your words. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now there the Bible says, uh, in verse 15, after all what I have explained has happened. Now, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Now, basically, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall not shall be damned I beg your pardons now all those who believe uh, who uh, who will be baptized shall be saved and then Jesus says after he said go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature he said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. In my name shall they cast out devil. They shall speak with new tongues. Which, with, with new tongues. And all, and these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devil. They shall speak with new tongues. 18, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. 19. So then after the Lord has spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere 
the Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. 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 Now, uh, after Jesus Christ has sent them out, and then he said, all these signs and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, they shall cast out Satan, devil. In my name, they shall cast out Satan. And Jesus told his disciples one day, he said, how can you enter the strong man's house and spoil his house except you bind the owner of the house? Now, Jesus Christ, what was meaning, was meaning that Satan needs to be bind or bound. You know, bind him, yes. Satan must be bound. For you to overcome him, you need to bind him so that you can spoil his house. If you want to come and rob my house, I know the corner of my house. If you don't bind me first, I'll, I'll, I'll hurt you. So you must bind me first. After binding me first, then you can go, my wife, you can go to the children, you can, you know, you can ransack my house. But if you don't bind me, you are looking for trouble. Now, uh, Jesus was saying that uh, whenever we pray, we must bind Satan. We must bind the devil. And, G and, 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 and Satan knows the name of Jesus Christ. So if we use the name of Jesus to bind him, he will obey. He will listen. Because he knows this name. He knows the name of Jesus. And the Bible says there is no other name given to you and myself that we can call to be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. Here on earth, under the ground, and up in heaven, there is only one name that is given to us that we can, uh, that we can uh, believe in it and be saved. The name of Jesus Christ. Not the name of the pastor, not the name of the bishop, not the name, I don't know who they call, who pastors are calling themselves, but I believe that this name that is given unto us, that we can be able to cast out a devil. Jesus says, in my name, they shall cast out the devil. The devil is only can only be cast out by the name or with the name of Jesus Christ. In this way, Satan, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible, Jesus Christ says, In my name they shall cast out devil. The devil must be cast out. Satan must be cast out. Because Jesus has said so. He will be cast out, but only in his name. Can we say amen? And in my name they shall, and they shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with a new tongue. They shall speak. Can, can you please look at me? Uh, uh, please look at me. There is a saying that it yeah? Look at me. The Bible says they shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. Now, in the UAFC, in many instances, it's a pastor or mamuruti or few people who can speak with tongues. Can, can we look at this? Let me, let me look at this, look at this assembly, this uh, 
a hope, UFC, hope to you. Look at this. Uh, in this assembly, uh, when the Bible says, in the name of Jesus, they shall speak with new tongues. In other words, basically, all those who received him, he gave them power to become the sons or the children of God. And we, according to what I understand, all those who have received Jesus Christ, they should be able to speak with a new tongue. Can we say amen? You cannot spend 15 years, 20 years without being baptized with the Holy Spirit. You should be able to speak with the new tongue because Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. That is a guarantee that Jesus Christ is alive. He is risen from the dead. I pray that this church one day they should be filled with the Holy Spirit so that they can speak with a different tongue. It's not good enough to be here without being filled, without speaking with a new tongue. We need to speak with the new tongues so that God may be glorified. Can we say amen? The Bible says in Jewel chapter 2, I think, it says, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit among all flesh, young, old, and old ones. The young ones shall see the visions. Can we say amen? Young people shall see the vision. Are the young people here? It's in Amen, my corner. Young people, the Bible says, you shall see visions because of what Jesus Christ has done. Can we say amen? And the old man shall dream the inspired dreams. Not the dreams of your grandfather, your grandmother. Not the dreams of Bambi Lotto. Abanya praying that I can have the number of Lotto. We dream. Eh? People like us, we dream the dreams that are inspired by the word of God. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Again, it's amen. Young people, you should start to see the vision. This is the church that Jesus Christ died for. Don't see about John and about Mary and about Obama. See the vision. I'm not criticizing. I'm putting the facts before you. That the Bible says you need to see the vision. You need to have visions as a young people. And, 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 and the Bible says uh, uh, the old men like Pastor Mlekwa must dream the dreams. Can we say amen? Amen. And, and the Bible says, you shall speak with a new tongue in those days that God shall uh, uh, made the time of outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Now, God bless you. This is the church that we are looking for. Particularly in my days, we're seeing the young people, you know, uh, having visions, coming to church in the morning, uh, coming and tell us the visions that they have seen. Uh, God revealed this vision unto them. And we're looking for the church in these days that we will see old men and old women who are having dreams. I'm not talking dreams, but I'm talking inspired dreams that comes from above. And all the church of God being filled with the Holy Ghost. Can we say hallelujah, amen. Unless these things happen, let me tell you, unless these things happen, all the other things will never happen. Unless young people see visions and, 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 and old men dreams and the, you know, uh, people are speaking in tongues. The tongues is not for the pastors. Tongues is for all those who believe in the name of Jesus Christ. 
you shall speak with tongues not fake tongues I mean real tongues because they are also fake tongues they are fake tongues and there should be uh, there is, when the, the uh, I have this say if Satan if Satan you know progressing this side all truth is parallel if the devil is moving this with hundred hundred kilometers per hour eh, the children of God must move on the right hand side with 300 kilometers 100 kilometers an hour in others we are matching the devil in all sector if he brings his fake we will able to see there are many fakes people in the church eh? the church the church can even worship with demons in the church they can even sing here they can even bring money here because there is no spirit of God in the church we need to have the spirit of discernment we see you know the devil is deceptive he is a skeleton he is de deceptive you can only see him with the help of the Holy Spirit God bless you amen hallelujah amen 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 we you know uh, 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 when we believe these things will happen to us this is the church that is endured now God or Jesus Christ was going to enjoy them with these signs may the Lord bless you let me emphasize this let me emphasize this unless these things are happening in the church on spear on spear bazo bathatha laba aqala itende laba abanikeza madumu baye eh baye lekho nakumadumu baba nikeza manzi empompini bavule nje bathi holy water babeki sticker laba They will leave us. But if God, if the Spirit of God is in the church, they will never leave. Abanyaba Pumala, they want healing. Abanyaba Nim Filter, they hiding this. They can't even come forward because they are ashamed. Bayaya, Kulma Jem Shama, Banyaba Nyo Websu, Bayagubo Lava. Niko na banya la kichimani ni onbaunta na zelekseni nila. I know human being. I've seen many things in my ministry. Ashale la patule la baga nui azu pete. Ekaya ubega mans wa bega samwe. Ekone umasuga la he knows that there is some water that is going to use. The name of Jesus Christ supersedes anything that we have in this world. The name of Jesus Christ is above all the waters, all the oils, all the fish oils, eh? all the olive oils that they do. The name of Jesus Christ, only the name of Jesus has got power over all these things. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. Uh, it says the Bible says they shall lay hands on the sick. They shall take up serpents, is yoga, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. They shall lay hands on the sick. They shall recover. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. They shall not push people when they pray for them instead they shall what they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be re they shall recover gang bona banye you know mfundiso wami uma 80 nabo bantu bathi wenyaka they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. 
be rest assured if a pastor who's ordained by Jesus Christ if he lay hands on the sick you shall recover don't say ramizi ke muruti mahlangu god has called him here if he lay hands on you i believe you shall be recover because he's being ordained by god amen na kichimbe se kichimele la there is healing here there is healing here. again it's amen man amen i don't want to talk about these things but there is healing here e khona la edube eh khona la there is healing now if we don't have those things ba phuma ba yofuna ma healing outside ba ofuna ma blessings but let me tell you one thing because you are in jesus christ you are blessed already you are blessed already you are blessed can we say amen the blessings of god eh, are upon us and they don't add grievous god has blessed you and it says they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover i pray that god should reveal this into this church that the laying of hands that people will recover now i know some of you you believe in people falling down when they wake up they still have the same disease falling down doesn't mean that you are healed it doesn't mean that you are healed i've seen many people falling down they believe when you fall down you are you are you are healed no healing yes a person can fall eh can fall with the power of the holy spirit it can happen but this is a, a pattern in the churches that particularly pastors we believe if a man falls down if i lay hands on him if he falls down i have the power it's not the power we want anointing that will heal the people can we say amen if we lay hands on you if the holy spirit slays you yes it's fine but let it not be a pattern that you fall down then we believe that uh, you are healed you can still stand up being possessed with the spirit of satan you can still stand up not being healed but i'm talking about real healing that comes from above healing that comes from jesus christ healing that comes from the name of jesus christ may the name of the lord be praised hallelujah believe that jesus christ is working so the bible says so then after the lord had spoken unto them he was received into heaven and sat on the right hand of god after he had spoken these the bible says he was received in heaven and he sat on the right hand side of the father remember the angels in the grave side in the sepulcher was on the right hand side and when jesus christ when he was received in heaven he sat on the right hand side jesus christ wants you to be on the right hand side jesus christ is trying to bring you to sit on the right hand side of god can we say amen because on the left hand side what is the bible saying eh? on the left hand side zimbuzi nayonke lendole they are on the left hand side but on the right hand side come on the right hand side jesus christ wants you on the right hand side of the father may god bless you jesus christ wants you on the right hand side and if you are on the right hand side of jesus christ he says you can ask anything using my name i will give it unto you he says uh, where two or three are gathered in my name as touching anything they shall ask i am in the midst of them jesus wants you on the right hand side can we say amen jesus is sitting on the right hand side of the father and then the bible says after he went up and all the disciples they went out preaching the gospel of jesus christ 
to every nation and God was confirming his word with signs and wonders. Now the signs and wonders is the confirmation of the word of God, not the power. Not the power, confirmation of the word of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. Signs and wonders is the Lord working with us. God confirming his word and the signs will follow us because God is confirming his word. God is confirming his word by following the signs and wonders. When a person is being healed, God is confirming his word. If a person is being delivered from evil spirit, it is not the power of Mabunda. It is God confirming his word. Let's take away the mind of a person and focus unto Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of your faith. Can we say amen? Hallelujah. Thank you for inviting me. May the Lord bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. It's a pity my time is too short, but these are the things that God has laid in my heart that the assembly of Dube should be blessed uh, with this weight. And I pray that when you leave here, let the Holy Spirit continue to teach you, to reveal to you that what I was saying, it is the truth. And may the Lord bless you. Amen. God bless you. If there are those that are sick, just raise up your hand. Thank you, thank you. It's only one. Okay. Come, Mama. Live, 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 live. In the name of Jesus, believe. Walk in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stand. Uh, please just be next to her so that she may not. Uh... God bless you. Amen.